Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Jared Pauly's Fragrance Reviews. Tonight, we're going to be looking at an excellent new release from the house of Karl Lagerfeld. This fragrance is known as Karl Lagerfeld Classic Grey. This came out in 2022. It should be noted that this fragrance has no similarities to the 1978 release Karl Lagerfeld Classic. These are two separate fragrances that do not share any of the same DNA. This is a scent that smells expensive. It has a niche type qualities. I find it to be very intriguing and unusual, but unusual in a good way. It's modern, polished, and pleasing to the nose. It's a mature scent, and it's not for clubbing or necessarily romantic counters. It's not a sexual uh, fragrance by any means. But it, does, it is alluring in the sense that it wants to draw people closer, but just not in an erotic, sexual manner. So I'm going to take this out of the box and give it a spray on the back of my wrist. So the bottle is exactly the same design as the 1978 Karl Lagerfeld Classic and the Karl Lagerfeld Photo, which came out in 1990. Two other brilliant fragrances. So pull the top off. So that initial blast is a very pleasing, beautiful uh, blend of like a smoothie, creamy nuttiness. As it dries down, the main difference is the fragrance starts to become a little bit drier and woodier. The, the later dry down, several hours later, let's say three or four hours, it has a dry down that is like a, a soft material fabric sense. Like you're smelling, smelling your jacket, the material on your jacket. But you still can take in the vanilla, the nuttiness, and a lot of sandalwood. And there's a slight bit of mossiness. I find that the final dry down is somewhat complex. And you continually will go back and smell your wrist. And it's very pleasing to... And this is why I always like to spray the fragrances on the back of my wrist. If you just spray them on your neck, on your clothes, you can't smell it. And if you spray it on the back of your hand or the back of your wrist... You can just quickly bring your hand up to your face and get a very satisfying, ref refreshing uh, waft of that scent that is that keeps you going and it's somewhat inspiring. And I find that very satisfying when I wear fragrances. People always ask me, why do you spray the back of your hands or the back of your wrist? It's so I can get a nice smell. Just put my nose inch or two away and pull in the air. As advertised, the top notes are bay leaf, hazelnut, and lavender. The mid notes are oak and cedar. The base notes are sandalwood, vanilla, and moss. These are the notes that are advertised, but I somehow think there may be more that, that are not listed. So like I said, it has nothing to do with the 1978 classic, and that is a fragrance I will review at a later date. Uh, this has a great value for the price for a 100 milliliter bottle. You can't go wrong, but again, this is something always try before you buy, always investigate. As for performance for me, it had very good scent trails and nice scent wafts. It's not overbearing. It's not too powerful. It's very subtle, but still in a powerful way. It has a good scent bubble. It will draw people somewhat closer to get this pleasing uh, sniff of this scent. The longevity, I got six, seven hours. Overall, this fragrance, I think, is a real winner. It's attractive, it's appealing, it's elegant, and it's refined. And I think it's very fashionable. I think if you're dressed up for the evening, let's say you're, you're going out to a little bit of a better restaurant and you want to smell uh, sophisticated, you want to smell a chic, I think this is the right fragrance. But I think it's for about maybe late 20s and up all the way into your 60s, you could wear this fragrance. So if this is something you would be interested in, I would definitely... Uh, investigate because it's a great price and for as for this video if you liked it hit the like button the subscribe button the notification bell any questions or comments leave them down below and i will always answer you back thanks for watching bye for now